Have you ever wondered why there is no bridge between Africa and Europe? Why is there nothing to connect the two? When observing the history of exploration, it is hard to believe that Europe accomplished all this without even a bridge in the Strait of Gibraltar. There must be some reason, if not possible in the past, why is Europe not making it now? Is Africa not allowing Europe to do so? If yes, what concerns does Africa have? Let's find out. The history of exploitation of Africa is known to all by the West. But why isn't there a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar that could connect Africa directly to Europe? Despite its strategic significance in global shipping, the absence of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar can be attributed to economic, political, and engineering challenges. While the potential economic benefits of a bridge are substantial, factors such as funding constraints, political tensions between Spain and Morocco, and the lack of a compelling economic incentive have hindered progress. The sheer volume of shipping traffic passing through the strait raises questions about such a bridge's necessity and economic viability. Additionally, the technical challenges associated with accommodating colossal cargo ships, unpredictable water conditions, and seismic activity in the region pose formidable obstacles to engineering efforts. How does the absence of a bridge impact the economic dynamics between Europe and Africa through the Strait of Gibraltar? The absence of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar significantly impacts the economic dynamics between Europe and Africa, given the Strait's pivotal role in global shipping. The Strait serves as the only natural waterway connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, facilitating the passage of over 100,000 ships annually. This maritime route is crucial for trade between Europe, Africa, and beyond, contributing substantially to the economies of Spain and Morocco. However, the lack of a bridge introduces logistical challenges and uncertainties, affecting the efficiency of shipping operations. The economic potential of the strait is exemplified by ports such as the port of Algeciras in Spain and the port of Tangier Med in Morocco. These ports play a key role in facilitating trade, and the absence of a bridge may lead to increased shipping costs, potential delays, and logistical complexities. While proposals for a bridge have been considered, such a structure's economic viability and necessity are subjects of debate. Therefore, the current absence of a bridge impacts the economic dynamics by introducing uncertainties and challenges in the shipping route, influencing trade and economic relations between Europe and Africa. But will there be a bridge between the two anytime soon? What are the various proposals for constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar? And what challenges do these proposals face? Several proposals for constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar have emerged over the decades, reflecting a desire to enhance connectivity between Europe and Africa. However, these proposals face a myriad of challenges that hinder their feasibility. One key challenge revolves around the economic aspects, including funding constraints and the absence of a compelling economic incentive. The immense cost of constructing a bridge over a dynamic and geologically complex region poses a significant hurdle. Political tensions between Spain and Morocco also present obstacles to these proposals. The historical and cultural context, including the geopolitical struggles over territories like Gibraltar, Ceuta, and Melilla, adds complexity to the political landscape, influencing the approval and cooperation required for such a cross-border infrastructure project. Engineering challenges represent another formidable barrier. The need to accommodate massive cargo ships, contend with unpredictable water conditions, and address regional seismic activity demands innovative and robust engineering solutions. Geological challenges, including the location of the strait atop the meeting point of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, coupled with deep quaternary clay channels beneath the seafloor, pose threats to the stability of any bridge structure. Now, you need to understand the importance of this region too. Let's discuss how the shipping traffic through the strait contributes to the economies of Spain and Morocco, and what role the ports of Algeciras and Tangier Med play. Shipping traffic through the Strait of Gibraltar is pivotal in contributing to the economies of Spain and Morocco. The strait serves as a major route for maritime transportation, facilitating the passage of over 100,000 ships annually. The economic impact is particularly evident in the key ports of Algeciras in Spain and Tangier Med in Morocco. These ports are strategically located along the strait 
and have become vital hubs for trade between Europe and Africa. The port of Algeciras in Spain is one of the busiest ports in Europe and a crucial gateway for goods moving between the two continents. It is a transshipment point for most shipping traffic passing through the strait. The economic activities generated by the port contribute to job creation, infrastructure development, and overall economic growth in the region. Similarly, the port of Tangier Med in Morocco is strategically positioned on the African side of the strait, making it a key player in facilitating trade. It has witnessed substantial growth and investment, becoming one of Africa's largest and most advanced ports. The economic impact of Tangier Med extends beyond Morocco, influencing the broader North African region. The absence of a bridge across the strait introduces logistical complexities and uncertainties in shipping operations, impacting these ports' efficiency and economic dynamics. While proposals for a bridge have been considered, questions regarding the necessity and economic viability of such a structure remain, influencing the ongoing discourse on the future of connectivity between Europe and Africa through the Strait of Gibraltar. What are the economic stimuli and potential benefits of building a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar?